everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with another unboxing and product review. Today we're going to talk about the SteriPin Aqua. So stay with me. I hope you enjoy the video today. Let's unbox this thing. Okay folks, I'm going to read some of the specs on the package. Basically this SteriPin Aqua is a entry level SteriPin which comes in at a much lower price point than the SteriPin Classic that you saw in my 15,000 subscriber contest giveaway. This is an ultraviolet light water purifier. Okay, so what it does is it uses the ultraviolet light to disable the protozoa's ability to reproduce in your stomach. This is a good device for preparedness, for emergency preparedness, and it's also good for traveling. You can also use it for hiking. Now, the price point is lower. This one runs around $50, where the SteriPen Classic 3 runs around $70. And you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference? They're both uh, almost the same. Well, this one has 3,000 treatments and about a 6,000... I think is the uh, bottles of water and other than that it's pretty much the same thing it's just the bulb doesn't last as long on this one it also uses just like its uh, bigger brother the classic 3 it uses four AA batteries now if you use uh, alkaline batteries you'll get about 50 liters which is 32 ounces so 50 times 32 you'll get 50 32 ounce bottles of treatment on a set of alkaline batteries. If you update your batteries to nickel metal hydride, you could expect to get upwards of 100 treatments. Again, that's 32 ounces per treatment, so 132 ounce bottles roughly. Now, if you use lithium ion batteries, this thing can get you 150 liters of treatment. So this is pretty cool. This is the SteriPin Aqua. Again, it says it takes 48 seconds to do a half a liter, and it takes approximately 90 seconds uh, to do one liter. Now, it tells you right here that you click the button once for a half a liter, and you click the button twice for one liter. Now, that is not the standard with all SteriPins. Some SteriPins are the complete opposite. For I like this one in the Classic 3 because to me a half a liter is less than a liter. So one click is half a liter, two clicks is more water, so that's one liter. And be careful when you buy a SteriPin because some of them do not work that way. Some of them, one click does one liter and two clicks does half a liter. So make sure you understand your SteriPin and how many clicks you're going to need. So let's open this up and take a look and see what we have inside the package. So I'm going to pull this out. Let's see what we have here. We got the actual SteriPin there and we have, there's nothing else in the box. I'm going to set that aside. We have some user's guides and they're in different languages. There's what, four of them. They're in different languages. Basically the, the directions. So we want to make sure that we remove, uh, <laughs> read our directions, what I'm trying to say. Talks about their Facebook page, shows you a little bit about the, the device, things like that. That's basically what's in the directions. This talks about the LED indicator lights and what they mean. Directions on usage and things of that nature. How to put the batteries in. So yeah, this is just basically the same thing as the original SteriPin Classic, except the batter the uh, bulb life is not as much. Doesn't last as long. The runtime and the amount of runtime that you get out of the batteries and the way that you use the device is is identical to the uh, SteriPin Classic 3. I'm gonna go grab a knife real quick and bust these zip ties, and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. I've got the zip ties up. Boy, those were strong ones. Kind of tough to pop them things loose. So let's uh, 
put all this stuff aside and let's take a look at the device so this is it right here this is the SteriPin Aqua forgot the name there for a second there's the button you'll put one click for half a liter and two clicks for one liter here's the lid pops right off there's the ultraviolet light right there this is made out of really nice rubber this is glass and these two little metal probes what happens there is when you put this thing in the water those probes uh, water being a electrical conductor those probes they complete the circuit so for the lack of a better term the water acts as your switch when you touch the water basically turns it on once you push the button so there's the cap and just a slight twist here we should unlock the back and there should be a compartment where we can put in four batteries Whoops. there's a nice o-ring sill around the back and let's go ahead and put some batteries in I'm going to use just some regular Dora cells. These are alkaline batteries. So I should get approximately 50 treatments out of it, assuming that they're 32 ounce treatments. 51 liter treatments. Let's throw that back there for a second. So let's take a look. Let's see how these batteries go. So they have little battery indicators plus and minus so I'm basically going to go plus minus another plus and another minus so they go in just like that hopefully you saw what I was doing there so the batteries go in corresponding to the code there so I'm going to put this lid in here and line up the little arrow with the unlock and then I'll twist it until it goes to the lock position. There we go. See it's the arrow's lined up with the lock position. This thing is now waterproof. Now you don't want to be putting this thing under water and stuff like that, but in the event that it happened, I mean, you got to remember this is a water treatment device, so if it's raining or something like that, you're going to be fine getting it wet. Now, try not to purify water under water. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here. I see to the right of me, I see a pretty nice little mud puddle. I'm going to go get some water. I'm going to filter it through a cloth, through several layers of cloth. And I'll be back with some water. And we'll check this thing out and see what happens. So there's a glimpse of the water that we're going to get. That's the road coming into this location where I'm at. There's a lot of mud water there. We've been getting rain recently. There's my dog. He's going to go get a drink. So that's the water I'm going to be doing. Okay folks, I'm back. Here's my water. Still a little bit discolored, but that doesn't mean that it's not good to drink. All I have to do is purify it. So let me pan down a little bit. I'm going to open the lid off the bottle here. Pop the lid off my stereo pin. I'm going to give it two pushes of the button. One, two, and you should see both LED indicators lit up that it's telling me it's ready to do one liter of water. I stick the thing down into the water to come on nope it went red bear with me let me start over there we go there's a time frame that you have to get it done now if you look down it's gonna be hard to tell but this the light is on so you basically stir it in the water I don't know if you can even see it it's hard to see see the infrared light inside so you basically stir the device in the water until the lamp goes off if you remove it too soon you'll get a red light if the probes come out of the water so I know it looks like I'm an amateur here but I'm trying to hold a lot of stuff bear with me let's try it again so we're gonna go 
One, two. Now let's go. Boom. Did the light turn on? Yes, it did. I can see it. So I'm just basically going to keep this thing under the water and I'm going to mix it around until the light goes off. And when the light goes off, it should give me a green LED indicator telling me that the water is purified. See that? You can barely see that ultraviolet light inside. It's kind of hard to see in the daytime. So I'm just mixing it around until that light goes off. If your water is really cloudy or full of debris, your ability to treat the water is going to diminish a little bit. So you want to make sure that you do whatever pre-filtering you can to try to help the process out. Now this will take about 90 seconds right here. So I'm just waiting for the light to go out. It took me a minute to see it. It's kind of hard to see. It kind of reminds you of something from Star Wars. Now, I want to explain, folks, this is not killing bacteria, viruses, and protozoas. What it's doing is it's taking the protozoas and it's rendering their ability to reproduce in your stomach. It's taking that ability away. So it's disabling them, for the lack of a better term. Now, we see we have green lights telling us our water's done. From here... We're going to replace the cap, make sure we dry off the device. Good and clean. Replace the cap, set that down. And we now have 32 ounces of water that's safe to drink. Tastes a little muddy. <laughs> But as far as hydration is concerned, the water is perfectly acceptable. All the debris that I got out when I was pre-filtering, I ran it through some cloth. So it looks, let me turn this down and show you. I mean, it looks crazy, but it's perfectly acceptable to drink. That's what you guys need to understand. If, you know, there's a lot of people out there that drink coffee. They drink Coke, soda, stuff like that. And iced tea. All this water is to me is discolored water. That's all it is. So yeah, it's it's definitely good to drink. I still prefer boiling, honestly. But that's just my personal preference. So a device like this would be good for use if you were to travel abroad and you want to get tap water or something. You could pull this out of your bag and do your tap water. I have another bottle here. This is water from the tap. <clears throat> so you can see the, the coloration is completely different. This water is completely different. But nonetheless, it's water from the tap. So I don't know what the type of water was at that restaurant that I was at where I got this water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my SteriPen, one click. Remember, this is half a liter, one click. See it? And I'm going to, whoops, got a little excited there. Did the light turn on? Yes, it did. It's hard to see. Sorry, folks. I got a little excited and put it too deep the light is on. See it? So I'm just going to stir it in there for 48 seconds until the light goes off. And then we'll also look at the indicators to make sure we get a green indicator light. Another thing you want to think about is when you're purifying your water, any water that gets on the lip of the bottle is not being purified. So any any residual water that spills out like that before you go drinking your water, you want to make sure that you take care of that water. 
We've got a green flashing light. It says that we're done. So again, I'm going to replace the cap here after I dry it. Dry the device, replace the cap. Now, look at that messy lid. We don't want to drink all of that. We want to drink the water inside the container. So let's clean that up, that exterior. We don't want all that in our stomach. So let's go to drinking. We have 16 ounces of water, tap water from the restaurant. I have no idea what kind of water they had at that location, but we've used our SteriPen Aqua. We should be good to go. This water tastes a lot better. So now I have two bottles of water that have been purified, or should I say deactivated, <laughs> using the SteriPen Aqua. So, everybody, I want to say thank you for watching the video today. I hope you got some good useful information out of the video. Please feel free as always to comment, like, share this video. Go check out my Facebook page. Give that a like. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content that I bring you. And until next time, have a beautiful day. Now get out there and drink some discolored water. Make sure you take care of it first though. This water honestly wasn't that bad. Really. It wasn't wasn't bad at all. I mean, a lot of things people will do for their survival that most people wouldn't even touch something like this just because of the color of it. Just think of it as iced tea or coffee or soda or something like that. It's just discolored water. No problem there at all. Later.